Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a good witch and all the materials and supplies I'm going to be using for this illustration are listed in the description box. So if you want to check something out you can find it there. I'm starting with my sketch and I'm just doing the sketch with a pencil. First I'm starting with her head and I did decide to add a ribbon and a buckle and then I'm painting in her face, sketching her face and I decided I want to make her face covered mostly so only the lips are going to be visible and then just sketching the hair and I wanted to make her hair like it's made out of swirls, there are some swirls there so I drew those and also decided to add a moon just behind my witch. So I've used a ruler to paint in the moon. And with that, that's our simple sketch done. Then moving on to the inking. And for the inking, I'm using 01 from Micron Pigma ink pen. And first I'm just going over the lines I did drew with my pencil. Adding in also hair and the swirls and the moon and later on I will be adding more details just some shading and hatching cross hatching where I think those creases are and some shadows are just also making some lines a little bit thicker adding some creases to the hat and also to her hair and for the hair I'm just adding a bit more of the inking on the edges of her curls and just central part leaving lighter and a little bit more ink to some parts of the swirls and now some cross hatching and you know what, this, <laughs> this was the illustration that I admit I enjoyed the most. I so loved it and I had so much fun. I just wanted to mess with her and just, just forever. But I was liking the sketch and the illustration so much that I didn't want to ruin it. So I noticed that I really, really do actually like painting people. And I was, for a couple of years, I was... Um, deciding my new year's decision was to paint uh, to paint portrait more and I would always start a year with painting portraits and somewhere along the way I just stopped so I guess that's something that I really should do I, I really do enjoy painting portraits I'm not really good at that but I would really like to practice more so again a new year's decision is going to be to paint more portraits so for her skin, I used a little bit of the warm red, some winter blue and some uh, sweet yellow to get the skin tone. And then I've painted in the hat using purple and warm red, just mixing those colors on my paper. I wasn't mixing them in my palette because I did want to have all the shades on my uh, paper and then just adding a little bit of the black also to the hat and to her hair and I'm just doing it very very loosely I'm not trying to paint the details just adding very very loosely those colors for the moon I used winter blue first painted it in a light wash and then adding a couple of details here and there while the paint is still wet and I won't be adding details, I won't be fussing with exact look of the moon. I was just adding the details where it came to me. I wasn't really thinking how the moon really looks. For the buckle, I used some black and also a little bit more of the black details to her hair, to her swirls. Just to make some part stand out a little bit more. For her lips, I used warm red. And again, I wasn't really trying to paint in the detailed lips. That's just illustration, so it doesn't have to be detailed. Some black splatters. 
And for the buckle, I've used warm red and a little bit of the black on top. And then I was looking at it and it just <laughs> looked empty to me. It wasn't looking right when the background was white. So I decided to add black to the background. And I was adding a couple of layers until was, I was uh, happy with the saturation of the color in the background. And then a bit more details to her hat. With black, I'm using this smaller detail brush from Panart to do those details. And a bit more details to the moon also using same winter blue mixed in with a tiny tiny bit of the black. And at the end I decided I want to add a bit more of the violet on top of the hat just to make it slightly more shiny I guess. And then some black splatters, some white splatters. And when it all dried I decided to add a little bit more of the details, some highlights with white Posca pen. This is a fine tip Posca pen. And with that I'll be finishing off this illustration and this video. Hopefully guys you enjoyed it just maybe as half as I did. I, I really did love this illustration, my favorite by far. So hopefully you enjoyed it also. If you did please hit the like button, share it, comment. If you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel. I'm sure you will find something for yourself. There are over 400 tutorials there by now and all the real-time tutorials for the Inktober are available for my channel members. So it's not too late. You can still join in and follow and paint with me in real time. So if you want to find out a little bit more about the membership, there is a link in the description box. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.